nobody's around. I'm going to look inside the tents. We owe these people so much. The least we could do is say hello. Is anybody here? Huh? <gasps> Lemo? Nobody's here, Key. It appears they've all stepped out. We'll have to bid them a visit another time. That's too bad. I wanted one of those cloaks, too. You look dumb in it, but it would look good on me, Kay. <laughs> you really never stop, do you?
go.
isn't this? Yes, it would certainly seem to be one of Sarah's feathers. This is consistent with our earlier information. Miss Sarah must be here. Let's split up and see if we can't find any clues. Statues are the ones Sarah was talking about? The Mua? You know, the ones that she said look like you and me? The Mua, huh? The race whose genes we were supposedly implanted with. <sighs> I see. They do indeed evoke your images, in a way. But more than you two, I'd say they resemble... Earthlings in general. That's my impression. How could the Mu'a have existed on both Earth and Roke, so far apart in space? What were they? It's so strange. Even though their genes live inside me. Raimi. Hey, everyone. Come here, okay? in that direction. I caught Sarah's scent. But it's a dead end. <sighs> huh. Not gonna be that easy, I guess. Aww, this is like so deflating. Well then, what shall we do now? There seems to be little point in remaining here. I wonder if Sarah is even here. <sighs> I know it. I'm positive. Positive she's here. Eureka! What is it, Mary? I just had a revelation. When you're stuck like this, there's only one solution. Ask for help. Ask? Ask who? Who else? Lady Elena and Trump, of course. Lady Elena? You mean Sarah's fortune teller acquaintance? Lady Elena probably knows everything. I mean, seriously, she's a sage, a holy maiden. <sighs> Isn't that just from some fairy tale you read? Yeah, but come on. Sarah said she was going to see Lady Elena too. She must know something. I want to go too. It sounds fun, Kay. What's the plan, Edge? Let's go. It's better than standing around. What proof do we have this Elena can be trusted? Sarah said it herself. People who've lost their way go to see her. We may not have any proof, but I want to trust Sarah.
Righteous flock of wandering souls, give pause and lend me your ears. The advent of our long-awaited hour of salvation is at hand. Yea, he who shall save our wretched, iniquitous souls, the Supreme Being, the Almighty Lord, Asmodeus. His the resurrection is nigh! Is resurrection. Asmodeus, you people, you can't be... Church of Sydney. The Archfiend cult? 
Indeed, we are the Church of Sidonae. But I ask you, what reason is there for you to be worried? It is Asmodeus who shall deliver this world unto salvation. Asmodeus, the Church of Sidonae. Avert your eyes from false peace and witness the truth of this world. If you would do but that, you shall surely begin to see. Your beloved families, friends, and neighbors blighted, becoming as cold stone, trapped within the clutches of darkness and pain oh. forevermore. The remedy that would cure us all is monopolized by the ruling elite and does not reach the hands of the common man. That is unjust. Would you not agree with me? He has a point. Yes, my friends. This world of ours walks the wrong path. The virtuous and chaste writhe in agony throughout the land, while the wretched and shameless fill the vessels of their desire. But there is one who would consume this miserable world in his flames of purification. Yea, none other than the magnificent Asmodeus! Yes. This Asmodeus yes. might actually be a pretty nice guy. Such a world. W wait the Archfiend is going to burn down the entire world, right? Wouldn't we burn to death right along with it? Yes, it is precisely as you say. Asmodeus will consume the world with his flames, and we along with it. B but then we'd all die. What good would that be? Indeed, then, shall we not all burn together? What? The what? Are you saying? By accepting Asmodeus as your savior, you shall receive his divine mercy. His destruction of this ugly, wretched world is merely a gateway to the beautiful new one that he will create. Within that new world, Asmodeus's followers, we shall be granted eternal happiness. We must but love the Almighty Lord unconditionally so that we may be bathed in the light of his divine love in return. The pain of being consumed in his flames of purification will last but an instant. But the happiness granted in his new world will be eternal. I say to you again, eternal! So this is Sidonaism, the cult of the Archfiend. They are clearly not to be taken lightly. He speaks with such conviction. I wouldn't be surprised if he gained a lot of new followers here. Of course, as we all know, everything that comes out of his mouth is absolute nonsense. Indeed. These people have stopped receiving medicine only because shipments of raw materials have been stymied. And we must not forget whoever was behind the Bandit Edge defeated, attempting to halt the Remedy's distribution. But of course, the Royal Knights are dealing with that matter. And in any event, this Archfiend doesn't exist. Sooner or later, people like him will disappear. Huh. Something wrong? No, I was just thinking. I was wondering what will happen to his followers when their leader does disappear. It's none of our business. Let's go.
Miss Elena, are you home? Sarah recommended we come see you. Maybe she's out. The door's oh. not locked. I'm going in, Kate. I guess that decides it. Let's see what we can find. Well? I'm afraid I was unable to find any trace of Elena, nor any clues as to where she might be. Same here. Me neither. She must be really good at hide-and-seek. I'd expect no less. Regular people like us can't hope to match her hide-and-seek skills. <laughs> hmm. Is something burning? Look! <gasps> Someone must have set their house on fire! house just a moment ago. <gasps> Someone's coming. I knew you whelps would come. Huh? I knew you were Sarah's friends, and I knew the house would burn down, nearly taking you with it. Uh, uh, we... That's why I prepared a transfer symbol for you wretches. Show some appreciation. Huh? Thank you. Very much. Are you deficient? Show some appreciation. All of you. Oh, uh, of course! Thank you very much! <sighs> <sighs> very well. You may now rejoice. I am she whom you seek, the one and only Elena Farrens. Come, I don't recall summoning you, but you might get some tea. Uh, wait a minute, please! Are you really the Elena that Sarah was talking? I won't say it again, Stripling. Come. Y yes ma'am! And don't dawdle. So that's Elena, huh? Not quite what I was expecting, after what Sarah said about her. Mary, is something wrong? You don't look too happy, Kay. Oh, I suspect she's just in shock. Elena must not have lived up to Miracle's image of the Holy Maiden. I can hear you. But, Holy Maiden has a nice ring to it. I think I'll start calling myself that. Elena the Holy Maiden. D don't My beautiful bubbles! Stop bursting them! <laughs> Be sparing with your praise. I'm bashful. It's not praise! <laughs> She's a bully, huh? Definitely. Perhaps, but it appears her reputation was not unfounded. She not only knew of our relationship with Sarah and that we were coming to see her, she even predicted the fire. Then I wish she'd saved us a little faster. If I had, you wouldn't know the proper gratitude. I saved your life, and in doing so showed you how precious it is. I believe I ought to be thanked for that, not blamed. This is wrong, all wrong. 
Lady Elaine is supposed to be beautiful and wise and kind. You see? That's me to the letter. <sighs> hey, Elaine. Is your house this way? <laughs> Laney, huh? How amusing. Laney the Holy Maiden. Hmm, that might be even better. Oh, please! No more! I have a hideout up ahead, Ragamuffin. A hideout? There are more after my life than I can count, you see. Here, we've arrived. And you there, Hulk, show yourself already. Hm. <laughs> so that's what you look like. When did you notice me? Don't underestimate me. Before I even met you, obviously. Whoa. My apologies, Miss Elena. You can wait there. You might fit inside, but your hulking brawn would be a nuisance. As you wish. I shall stand watch here, then. Bacchus, are you sure? It's not a problem. I'll still be able to hear your conversation from here. Stop playing patty cake like halfwits and get inside, you lot. What? Not satisfied with just torching her house? Now you're after her hideout, too. <laughs> the life of a beautiful woman, I tell you. If you're so fond of your precious Archfiend, I'd be more than happy to send you straight to him. So now I have to stop an Archfiend's resurrection, do I? <sighs> Why does Giotto always give me the tedious jobs? Miss Elena, do you really see everything? That voice... Miss Elena... Do you really see everything? Please tell us, is Sarah trapped within the Purgatorium? And if so, can you tell us how to get inside? Don't rush me. Everything in due time. But... <clears throat> there are those who secretly threaten this land. I imagine you've heard of them. A rather tawdry group that calls itself the Church of Sidone. They are the ones that kidnapped Sarah. Why would the Archfiend cult do that? They are bona fide idiots. No, worse, imbecilic cretins. Although many heroes gave their lives to defeat the Archfiend, this dogged little cult has continued to worship him for millennia. They've always seduced new converts in secret, but lately, their activities have become increasingly bold. It's almost as if they're being prodded by something, or someone. In ages long past, an archfiend appeared in this land. He was called Asmodeus. The Sidoneists' ultimate goal, of course, is the archfiend's resurrection. Huh? The Sidoneists lust after my power. They bade me join their church, but I'm sure you can guess what my answer was. <sighs> what? You look as if you think I'm talking nonsense. What? No, that's not it at all. 
I don't find it such a strange tale. After all, you lot sitting before me now. You came to this land across the vast star ocean. What? Huh? <gasps> if you ask me, both are equally nonsensical. Like I warned your hulking friend outside, don't underestimate me. <laughs> and you learned this through your... fortune-telling? Not exactly fortune-telling. Augury, to be more precise. It's very taxing, but far more accurate, as you lot have just demonstrated. I had foreseen that Sarah would send me intriguing guests. <laughs> You're most intriguing indeed. What's wrong with you? Isn't Sarah supposed to be your friend? Aren't you at all concerned about her? <laughs> Sarah is like a sister to me. Of course I'm concerned. But then, why? I received a message from on high and was waiting, waiting for you lot to arrive from the stars. You were waiting? For us? Yes. You are the only ones who can save Sarah and prevent the resurrection of the Archfiend. Uh, us? Prevent the resurrection? All of you who stand before me, travelers from across the stars, I tell you once again. You must stop the Archfiend resurrection rituals that proceed at the Purgatorium even as we speak. <sighs> the Archfiend must not yet come. It is too soon. Too soon? You speak as if his resurrection is inevitable. Of course it is. What? The Archfiend will indeed be resurrected, but not quite yet. When the time comes, a band of warriors will rise up and destroy him. But those warriors are not you. Is that another of your auguries? Indeed. But that's beside the point. What's important now is forestalling the Archfiend's resurrection. And most importantly, you must rescue Sarah, the key to that resurrection. Wait a minute, I, I don't get it. What does Sarah have to do with the Archfiend? His revival requires a sacrifice of holy blood. Sarah is of the sacred Featherfolk, more than worthy to be offered to the Archfiend. Her rescue and the prevention of the Archfiend's resurrection are one and the same. What... what if we fail? What would happen to this planet? If you fail... The Holy Virgin, garbed in white, walks upon the path to the altar. Laney, what's going on? The way shall soon be cleared, feathers of purest white stained deepest crimson, scattered upon the winds. The vile Archfiend, bade forth from his realm of deepest darkness, <sighs> shall awaken to feast upon the corpse of the Virgin. His coming shall herald the end of days. It's... it's almost like she's a different person. Would this be... an augury? As the world is immersed in flames of ruination, there is no quarter, no escape. All shall be reduced to ash. Thus are all things annihilated in infinite beauty. <gasps> uh, uh. <sighs> 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 
Lady... Elena? I figured it would be faster to simply show you. That was an augury of a future in which you fail. Sarah's death brings with it this land's extinction. There is no hope and no compromise. No matter how often I invoke this future, it is always the same. The destruction is inescapable. But if you can manage to save Sarah, perhaps it can be averted. I would like to pin my hopes on that. Uh. Uh. I'm praised as a phenomenal teller of fortunes, but just look at me. My body racked with the pain of auguries, unable to help anyone, unable to save my friend. Please, save the Featherfolk. Save the world. I beg you. Miss Elena. Please, stop. You can't. Please, don't ask me to get involved with the fate of an entire planet. Edge. That's not something I can do! Sarah's one thing, but an entire planet... I... I can't. Not... Not again! Foolish stripling. <gasps> Miss Elena! Are you alright? She's out cold, okay? Let's go. To the Purgatorium. Phase. Frankly, I have my doubts about this Archfiend resurrection business. But it's clear that Sarah is in grave danger nonetheless. But Elena still isn't showing any signs of waking up. And we don't have any way to get into the Purgatorium either. Then we'll just have to make one. Even if we have to obliterate the entire structure. No way! I'm not going to let you do anything that crazy! Then what would you have us do? Wait. Wait until Elena wakes up. We don't have time for that! She told us to go to the Purgatorium to stop the rituals. But we don't have any way of getting deeper inside. Elena must be aware of that. She knows exactly how to get inside. She has to. I'm sure of it. Don't you understand? You heard what they'll do to Sarah! Are you just going to give up on her? On Roke itself? That's not what I'm saying! You may as well be! If you were the Edge I knew... You wouldn't have even hesitated. Ever since we met on Eos... And then on Lemuris, and on Cardianon... You never took your eyes off your goal or let anything scare you. You always moved forward. That's the whole reason I wanted to come with me? you! Me?! I'm the guy that got Earth destroyed just because I didn't think things through! I think about that happening again and... I get so scared, I get so freaked out I can't even move! But what about Raimi? You fought for her when she was in trouble! Damn right I did! But that's not going to make this fear go away! Both of you, stop it! <sighs> Let me ask you one thing. You're not giving up on Sarah, are you? Of course not. FaZe, I understand your concern for our friends, but you too have to understand, our leader is Edge. Fine. Wow. Ray Ray. I wouldn't want to get on your bad side.
Miss Elena, thank goodness. Uh, how long was I unconscious? It's already morning. That long. I must be getting old. What happened, girl? We were discussing how to get deeper inside the Purgatorium, and uh, there was a difference of opinion. I see. That was careless of me. If I had given this to you earlier, you could have avoided that. What? Is this a keycard? How could a civilization like this possibly possess keycards? Without that lamp of guidance, you won't be able to get very far into the Purgatorium. There's no other way, and if you had tried to force your way in, you might have gotten Sarah killed. It looks like you made the right call, Edge. Yeah. <sighs> Where did you get the keycard? I mean, Lamp of Guidance. It was given to me by someone who claimed to carry the blood of the Mua. Now go, and please, save Sarah. Very well, let's go. Wait, you there, Alley Cat. What do they call you? Miracle? Ugh! Well, what You want to burst even more of my bubbles? Come see me when this is over and tell me of your holy maiden. Next time I will not make light of her. M maybe if I feel like it. And I'm no alley cat, you hear? Stripling, I don't know what it is that frightens you, and neither do I care. But I will say this, stop being so full of yourself. It's ridiculous. What? <gasps> the Star Ocean is endless, the world vast beyond knowing. If you presume to think you can carry it all yourself, you're a fool. It is the stars themselves that decide between prosperity and destruction. All is fate. But... Or, are you so arrogant as to believe you can manipulate fate itself? Don't be so presumptuous, you idiot. N no I don't... What you are capable of doing, and the influence you wield, is limited. Yes. Something you trigger might eventually swell into an enormous wave, enveloping everything. The very fate of a world might even be swayed. But your actions alone are not enough. A great many factors conspire to bring a world's fate to its ultimate conclusion. Miss Elena... Fret, fear, weep, but do not stop. Leave pride by the wayside. Move forward with every fiber of your being, and you will begin to discover what you are capable of. Insignificant as you are, you will discover something that only you can do. That is the path you must walk. Oh. Was that... inaugury too? Just advice from a pretentious fortune teller. In any case, you have this girl with you, don't you? Huh? You, you mean me? I'm sure you have faced incredible pain and hardship. But the Mua inside you is there for a reason. 
The Mua... inside me? Stay with this stripling, you who were born under the Mua's divine protection, child of hope. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Phase. <sighs> I think I'm ready to start moving forward again. Just... Give me a little more time. I promise, the edge you first met is coming back. Let's go. Yeah. <sighs> I can't believe that took all night. If we're going, let's hurry up and get moving. Y you're What are you doing here? I told you I had business on this planet, didn't I? Well, <laughs> look at that. It would seem we even share the same goal now. Halting the resurrection of the Archfiend Asmodeus. That is the mission I was given as Amorphous. So you are Amorphous too. I've heard plenty of stories about you, Bacchus. It's an honor to meet you. I suppose. I don't believe I've introduced myself to the rest of you yet. I'm Muria Dionysus. I remember some of you from Cardianon. You're that woman from... What are you doing here on Roke? I'd like to know myself. That business with the Cardianon, and now Roke. Why are you people always at the center of things? I suppose it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll be joining you. Wait, who said you could... Do you... still want to kill him? Of course, boy. And don't worry, I'll be staying right with you, until I do. What you talking about, Edge? Oh, it's simple enough. She's coming with us because she wants to kill Crow. What? Don't worry, I won't let her. I'll make her understand. Well then, shall we?